Are you Jewish? No. Do I look Jewish? Uh, oh, don't no. answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. Just because I have a big nose and curly hair doesn't mean, you know. You don't have a big nose. You don't have a big nose. Oh, yeah. thanks. Yeah. It's been my insecurity for so long. Seriously? Yeah, you know what's funny is that when I got my nose pierced, yeah. I was like worried about it because I was like, is my nose too big to get my nose pierced? No. But looking at you, I feel a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, I, I have a big nose, but that's okay. No, but Women you have like, like a... big noses. He's not wrong. Also, don't look at the camera ever again and do that. <laughs> that's going to be a clip. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that, that's why he did it, because he knew I would clip it out. Well, that's that's why he did it. Oh, I'm my God. Well, welcome to Let's Fight About It. I'm your host, Morgan Gal. You guys might notice that we are in a bit of a different space today. That's because we are officially moved to Denver, Colorado. I am so excited to be bringing this podcast here. This is season two. Remember, this is the podcast where problem solvers are not welcome, and we know no peace. Today, I have two local comedians, Elon Stribling and BK Sherrod. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I don't like that energy. I'm good. I'm well. You don't like this energy? I don't like that energy. Your energy is great. I, don't, I didn't like that. Mm, <laughs> I know. It is a little suspicious. It's a little suspicious. So you guys are Denver comics. Have you guys always been in Denver? Yes. Uh, I was in Boulder when I started, and then I was in Fort Collins for two years. Okay, fun. Yeah, okay. why'd you move to Fort Collins? Because I love Fort Collins. It's a crazy Foco. Thing to say. Foco, yeah. but now I live in. Actually, I don't want to dox myself. Now I live <laughs> in Texas. You don't Somewhere. live in Texas. You live here. He lives like maybe 30 minutes away from here. 30 right. minutes exactly, he said yeah. actually before right, the podcast. Now you figure it out. So now you have a <laughs> yeah. radius of yeah. a random <laughs> studio that you will never know yes. where we yeah. are. Okay, so. Today, I want to start out the podcast with a fan favorite game. This was something that was suggested to us in season one. This is what we're going to do. It's called the ABC game. Cool. So we are going to come up with a category and around the table, table, we will go and name items of that category in alphabetical order. So okay. for example, if we did like animals, it would go A, B, C, you'd name a different animal, right? Gotcha. But today, okay. I think we're going to do... Nice. Items that you would find in your house. Cool. Mm. So that could be food, furniture, I live in household appliances. Is that okay? If you can find it in an apartment, no, it doesn't count. Uh, Absolutely uh, not. Okay. Just a house. A, a house or a, a hostel or a brothel. Either <laughs> of those things. Hell yeah. Anything you'd find in your house. So I'll start. We'll go around this way. I'm going to start A. Let's go with apples. But you can. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also thought apple for some reason. I'm going to go broom. Mm. Cutlery. What? Cutlery? Oh, cutlery. Yes. Like in okay, the kitchen. Okay, like okay. Different what sort comes of after C? Assortment of knives. D. Um. This is so easy. D uh... Dunkaroos. What is a dunkaroo? <laughs> Bro, you're too young. How old are you? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. What Dunkaroos do you mean I'm too young? Those are old ass I said snacks. he was too oh, young. Oh, how old are you? Because he doesn't know what Dunkaroos I'm are. I'm 28. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. close enough. Yeah, Dunkaroos are an old Type of shoe. snack. Okay. It's not e. a shoe. You could have said a dryer. E. Um, <laughs> end table. Mm. Mm. Furniture. Oh, smart, smart. Um, gua sha. That what is a gua sha? A gua sha, yeah. time out. A gua sha is a product that you use to massage your face. And he knows what that is. At Dude, home? Wait, why'd you say I know what that is? <laughs> because because you were you. nodding. Look at your look at those cheekbones. Yeah, I know he you carries, <laughs> nap <shot laughs> he carries <laughs> napkins <laughs> to like clean his face every like half an hour. Oh, those oil things? Yeah. Oh, what a genius. Yeah. No, this is terrible for the environment. Because people take, but yeah, but you know, you got to look. Yeah, how but people are always taking pictures. <laughs> how many pictures are you taking today? That Bro, anytime I'm on stage, people okay. are taking pictures. Okay, G what comes G. after G? Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Uh, H. Heart. Because home is where the heart is. That was fucking stupid. All you right, have fine. to pick uh, <laughs> 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 uh, um, I just vomited in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> Hand soap. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, um, the I, but no, the I have a stove is an E, right? Yeah. I, 
What? Ice. What is an eye what? of a stove? <laughs> like the stove eye. Like when you're when what? you're cooking on a stove, the eye thing that gets hot. Where were you? Eye. Who raised the eye you? eye thing. Do you have electric stove? Is that what you're saying? Electric or gas? But that's what the that's what the circle hot part is called. An the eye. A eye burner? of the stove. You yeah, mean the, the burner. burner? It's also called an eye. No, it's not so the eye. So if you're looking this, Google it. But it's Bro. it's the eye. The eye of the stove. This yeah, dude's talking like eyes. it's the eye of the storm. <laughs> like let's go there's, chase. There's four eyes. You can have four or five. You can have yeah. Tiebreaker, Nick. Eye of the stove. All right, cool. Okay. All right, um, ice in the freezer. Cool, ice. Okay, okay. Have you seen a uh, J jeans, mm. knives? Wow, that was said quick. Cutlery, so I don't like that. <laughs> What's after K? L L L. Um, laundry basket. I like mm. doing laundry. Okay, you like doing laundry. Love doing laundry. Mm. Yeah, you're a pervert. How? <laughs> That's the way you're saying laundry. I like doing I laundry. I like doing laundry. <laughs> it makes something about being clean, like having clean stuff to put on. Um, M. Can I say Morgan? No. No. Let's go with, let's go with, <laughs> let's go with monochromatic blankets. Or a mop. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Why do you know all of this? Oh, he's good at this. Damn. Okay, mop. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Nintendo 64. Oh, I have one of those. Sam. Yeah. Okay, I, have okay. the, I have one of the controllers that's see through. It's like oh, uh, purple. The move. That's my shit. Um, okay, okay. You gotta bring that back. What, what's happening? M? In. Oh. Oof. Nightlight. No, he did N. He said Nintendo. No, what's after N then? Oh. 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 Um, I almost said obituary, but that made me sad. Uh, <laughs> in the oven. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. PlayStation. A quilt. Wait. Q. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I know. I have to, I have to, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have to, okay. Okay. Quilt. R. <laughs> I can only think of one word, and it's not like, at all in a in a home. <laughs> uh, Don't say it. I know. Uh, Actually, say it. No. Uh, restroom. <laughs> okay. 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 I'll give. Okay. I'll give yeah. it a pass. Okay. What is S? Um. Sewing machine or a sink. Oh my god! Yeah, I, know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I live in a cave. I know. Under the I just have a bunch of. I don't know. I don't know. Essentials for anything. I know you're like thinking of like actual appliances. <laughs> the basic stuff. Damn. Okay. Okay. Tupperware. Ooh, that's a good one. Or, or table. Yeah, that's a good one. Or tub. Or tub. Yeah. Yeah. Or table. Okay, genius. Yeah. Calm down. You don't need to shit. You don't need three to letter this. word and you're a genius. Tub. You. <laughs> Ooh, you utensils. Vacuum. Hell yeah, I like the vacuum too. See? Washing the machine. Vacuum. What's after washing machine? X. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Xbox. Oh! oh! That was damn. pretty good. Yeah, that was good. That was pretty good. X, Y. And okay, Z. Y. Okay, Y. Something that you'd find in your house that starts with Y. And it can be the, the color. Yeah, you a, can't say you can't a, say yellow banana. I'm going to say <laughs> I'm going to say yarn. Okay. Right? You'd find everyone has yarn in their house. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I have <laughs> lots of yarn. I knit my own underwear. Go on. Uh, Out of yarn? See. I feel like it's uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just seems it, like the second you sweat, it just gets <laughs> stuck to Yeah, everything. it seems like it's more of a problem than a solution. Yeah. Don't question me. Okay. You should just buy some, but Z. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Z. Say it. Zoo books. Oh, that was good. Another. What's a, hold on, hold on. What's a zoo book? Because you don't know books, what a zoo yeah, book is? Yeah, they were like, see, he's just too young. Um, but so zoo books, they used to be like a commercial, and you order them like through the phone. And you're like, yo, let me get some zoo books. And they just send you books about different animals and shit. It was like for kids. They used yeah. to have like a they used to have a commercial and there was a shark that would eat a thing with a yeah. vacuum of its mouth. And yeah, they give you the elephant thing. one for free. Cause they always like they'd send you the elephant one for free as like a gateway drug. Like a gateway zoo book. How old are you guys? Is this like when books were forty five? I'm thirty two. He just turned thirty two. Yeah. Really? When? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> I knew you were on the <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Easily forget. Oh, uh, another riveting ABC game on Let's Fight About a Podcast. We will be right back with our fight today. Welcome back to Let's Fight About It. Today we have a fight that I think is one of the most unique ones we've done here on this podcast. I want to ask you guys, 
Who is more annoying, concert goers or sports fans? Oh, concert goers. Sports for sure. Fan, sports fans. Really? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you each a minute to, okay. to describe why you think that is. Okay, go ahead. Why do you think concert goers are more annoying? Uh, because there's more concerts, and I don't like uh, what? like my bro. Because it's the a lot more of sports team, yeah, you there are, but schmuck. sports teams kind of keep it in their house, and concert goers. No, they like, literally travel to other cities to go watch sports. They do for like not for concerts. Yes, I know people who have traveled to Los Angeles from not Los Angeles to see Harry Styles. Okay, so what? What's your... so why are they more annoying though? I think it's just. They take more videos. They take more pictures. Also, concert is just like there's people who will go to a, like a concert because it's live music and that's all they need. They won't go to a concert because they like the band. They're just like, you know what? It's live music. That's enough. Have some standards. But they know yourself. No, <laughs> that's 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 wrong. I listen to one kind of music only. Do you go to concerts? No. Why? I'd rather watch the the like a live music video of the bands that I like. Instead of going to the actual concert. Yeah, my knees hurt. I'm old. That's stupid. Okay, yeah. okay. Why do why do you think sports fans are more annoying? Because than that? sports fans believe in people that don't believe in them. Like sport, like mm. if if a sports fan, if you're watching a team and that team loses, it like breaks people's hearts. Like it, they're like they think they're a part of a family that doesn't exist. And there's more like emotional attachment to it. So when you go to a sports game and you are watching sports fans, they like believe, and you're like, this shit doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But they like cry about it. They fight about it. You can get stabbed. You can't get stabbed. You at can a get Harry stabbed. St- you can't get stabbed at a Harry Styles concert, but you can get stabbed at a ro- uh, at an Oakland Raiders game or Vegas Raiders. Now, yeah, sports fans are the worst. Okay. They're mo- okay. They're more annoying. Okay. Easily. Interesting. But you, I feel like you're the kind of person that would go to a sports game. I would absolutely go to a sports game. And I feel game. like you're the kind of person that would go to a concert if you had better knees. I would way, <laughs> rather, <laughs> I would way rather go to a sports game. Really? Like, I'd rather go to a hockey game than go to a concert any day. But something, okay, there's something you said that's bothering me. You yeah. said that there's more concerts than there are sports games. Do yeah. you genuinely Same. believe that? Yeah, because if you're, like, no. if you're walking down the street in Denver, you can stumble upon a concert. You're no. not going to stumble upon... A cricket game. No, they they build they, <laughs> <laughs> they build they build arenas for sports. They don't build arenas for concerts. That's so not true. every other night there's a there's a sports there's thing venues. happening at the Nugget State at the Nugget Stadium. There is sports happening every other night, and then maybe once a month there's a music concert. So no, th- it's for more sports, and there's more sports fans, and they are more annoying. Because back to my previous thing, if you're walking down the street and you see a bunch of you know, white people in Denver playing volleyball. You're not going to be like, "Oh boy, I got to stop and watch this." But if you're because wa- they're white, down, who else plays volleyball? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who else? Yeah, is playing well, volleyball? Yeah, if I was walking down the street and I saw a bunch of Mexican dudes playing volleyball, actually, I'd be like, "For sure, I got to watch yeah, this game." For sure. See, actually, I would if it was any other <laughs> like <laughs> any yeah, other city than white. I'd be like, "I got to see this." Why is this happening? Um, sports about to get good. You know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, I think it's just like concerts. Like, yeah, there's just be like a band playing at a bar, and people are like, I gotta go watch this. Why? Don't you want to talk to your friends? But live music is so good. Like any live music is so good. Like any live, Sound- music, even if you don't like it. Like I've been to concerts where I don't like it, and I'm like, this was. I like the energy in here. I like the vibe. You can't go to a game and be like, I like the vibe. In oh, here. for sure you can. No, you bro, can't. It's playoff like, hockey. No, it's hostile. Hockey, it's like feels it's, rowdy. Bro. Everyone's hammered bro it's like going to an open mic no (laughs) you don't want to do that everyone's heckling you (laughs) yeah exactly yeah comedians are the worst open mics are dangerous yes who do you think who do you think gets more like hammered drunk high concert goers goers. no concert goers no it depends on what you what you mean if you mean like no one does molly and then goes to watch the broncos (laughs) (laughs) so so who gets more fucked up either either no sports fans people die at concerts from the substances yeah but not from alcohol they die from like Mm. mixing acid with fucking teletubby salt i don't know what they or they they will drink too much and it's just hot outside Sports fans die at ga- at games. Do like they? they? Yeah, they get drunk and then they fall off the third story. Bro, that to does not happen as much as concerts. No, it because concerts I went to EDC. Fun. 
You went to what? What happened at EDC? Bro, it fucking sucked. I don't even. I don't even. I went because my friends liked EDC. But what EDC, is EDC? It's a elect el- electronic Electric Daisy, Daisy Carnival. Carnival. Yeah. And uh, bro, isn't it funny? Because you're hearing that, and you're like, why would you ever go to EDC? Because I wouldn't. Uh, but I went because my friends went. Uh, I did some cocaine, and then I fucking just like shit. Wait, can I not say that on the podcast? No, you can absolutely say. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's like, ever said that out loud before. No, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, I used have to you do. ever admitted that to yourself? <laughs> Actually, I used to do a lot of drugs. Yeah, I like, I, you know what? I don't get to talk about it enough. Yeah, I did a lot of cocaine, and I thought you I also talk. used to be fat. Yeah, you I should did. talk about that more. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> way more exciting. The cocaine and fat were not in the same era. Uh, but <laughs> oh man, I um, yeah. So I mean, yeah, I just did a bunch of coke at EDC, and people were just like dropping all over the place. Paramedics were having to like take care of people and stuff like that. Uh, and then during Skrillex's set. Oh uh, man! Yeah, Skrillex. I don't even know what that means. So Skrillex meant you know something Skrillex to me. Is? It's a new form of COVID. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean he 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 was a precipice to COVID for sure. Yeah. Skrillex <laughs> is a startup company. <laughs> um, but yeah, he like he used to be the singer of From First to Last, which is an old like emo band, and then uh, he became a dubstep guy. And um, yeah, so he like his his show. Uh, there were too many people in the room, so the fire marshals came and shut it down. What does and, it have to do with getting fucked up? Just people were dropping all over the place because they're all like fucked up. But you said there were and too many people up. in the room. Yeah, yeah, that's a different thing. I'm saying, okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> along with <laughs> there being clarifying. too many people. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you, th- so you think that sports fans yes. are getting more fucked up oh, than concert yeah. goers? Yeah. Do you know how many fights I've either been in or almost been in leaving venues after Nuggets because games, of the Broncos opposing game. team? Just, just because the opposing team, like my friend, my friend loves wearing uh, Patriot stuff, even though he's not a Patriots oh, fan. Oh, what a douche! I know, and everyone hates the Patriots. Every every time we go to a game, Except there's just God. something like we know, <laughs> 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 we know, we like we just know, like okay, we are going to get into a fight tonight, and That's it'll wonderful. be like a little kid who'll be like, "Fuck the Patriots," or it'll be like an old man who'll be like, "We used to beat you guys in seventy Like it's just, Ew. and it's always just like. People watching us, people throwing drinks, people cussing out. Yeah, they're mm. way more annoying because I think they have more invested in. You can't have any yeah. stuff invested in concerts. Like you go to a concert, you're just oh, there dude, you to enjoy. Even if you get fucked up, you're there to enjoy getting fucked up. If you go to a game, you're like, we have to win. There's no reason to win at a concert. There is. You got to no, come to a hardcore no, show, bro. No, fuck that shit. No, there's no reason to win. In a con- you win at games. So if you're going as a fan, you're like, I want us to win. And if we don't win, then I'm going to kill somebody. What about when they want the, the band to play their favorite song? Mm. And then they don't. Then they're upset about that. Yeah, that's upset. You just use the word upset. Because I've even <laughs> i I've had my own moments of being an annoying concert goer. Like, I saw one of my favorite bands is Blood Runs Black. And they're trying to play, like, new stuff. And I'm like, hey, man, I'm just trying to pretend like I'm in high school again. So in that moment, did you think, as soon as they walk out of here, I'm going to sucker punch them? No, fuck no. Or did you say like, oh, I should I should wear the other team's jersey. I should wear the other band's jersey so they know I don't. Like I'm gonna them. wear a chemical <laughs> romance t-shirt. <laughs> you, should, you just show up to concerts in other people's gear to get fucked up. No, that's funny. Sports fans do that because they're the most annoying. Okay, so who do you think spends more money on their respective hobby? Oh. Coachella, concert people, they no. camp. No, have you ever been in someone's room and they have like memorabilia from like 60 Bro, years? Bro, people buy- A man's room, pe- yes. specifically. An adult man's room has like a football <laughs> from when he was a kid, a jersey, oh, man. a little hat. Boy, do I have a point tickets. for you. <laughs> Yeezys. Just fucking say it. Yeezys. This was brought to you by Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> what, I like, I like the dead silence that <laughs> fell across the room. What is what do you what, what do, you do Yeezys have to do with concert goers? Uh, as far as the price, literally Yeezys are so expensive. The shoe, we're talking about the shoe, yeah, right? which is a amalgamation. Yeah, but that's separate from because con- you could you could buy Yeezys and never go. To yeah, because I feel concert. like I feel like yeah, I feel like that's the same thing as buying like Jordans and like yeah. not going to. But a that doesn't mean like game. you are going to the. But so I'm, I'm talking about Michael I'm talking Jordan about fan. like. Spending money to go to the oh event. to the event yeah like I are, still think are it's concert concerts. goers spending more money to go yeah. to a concert because Coachella you don't go camp out at, yeah but that's uh, you don't camp out at Ball Arena for fucking three days yeah but that's one Coachella think about it. there's the NFL the NBA oh there's soccer people go from around the world to go watch soccer matches well here's another fun and we're for just you. talking about okay go fish guys <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <what? laughs> guys who like fish. 
the band they, fish. They follow fish Wait, the around. the band fish? The band fish. Oh, I thought he There's... meant guys that fished, and I was like, like you're making yeah. a point for healing. I was like, healing. okay, so what? No. I like the fish. No, no, no. Guys who love the band fish, they follow the band around. Who is fish? Fish is this fucking, they're a jam band. They're guys. Stop <laughs> <laughs> they're improv musicians. Oh. Wait, so they just do a whole concert that's like Wait, improv? do you know about fish? No, well, that's welcome, why I asked. Welcome to Colorado. No, this I, is I, our I'm staple. from Colorado and I don't know fish So, so Thank fish, you. They're, they're a jam band. So literally all they is. do is just like... They, uh, stop right there. As yeah. soon as you said the words jam band, yeah. I'm out. Yeah, same. So yeah, fish. <laughs> I'm glad we can And people something. will follow them around and watch them play nothing for okay. fucking a whole year. You know really? why? Do you know why sports fans are more annoying? You just said that you had a show, right, this weekend? And the reason that there weren't people at the show is because people did what? Oh, but if there was... Say it. Fucking say it. Oh, they went to the game. There's people who didn't show up to a comedy show because they went to watch Deion Sanders coach football. Not the players Who's play. Deion Sanders, Deion Sanders um, is he a Hall of Fame yeah. running back. And uh, now he's coaching CU Boulder. And oh, people, so people went to the game to see him coach, not, not yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah, they went but to see him coach. That is like, really how weird. weird. Is that? That's see, really that's, weird. But it's not that weird because it is weird. No, no, no. Because if Kanye West coach. conducted the Philharmonic this weekend, the Philharmonic would go, the, would go broke. People would go to that. <laughs> <laughs> people, <Absolutely. laughs> <Why? Absolutely. laughs> people would go to that instead of comedy shows too. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> Wait, you would go see Kanye? I, I would. No, no, no. no. First of all, I would not. You would have a seizure. I wouldn't go watch Deion Sanders so I can coach either. But I'm saying I wouldn't do it either. No, no. People going to watch someone coach is also... It's, it's just like, what <laughs> Like, what does that have to do with any... That is, a, that is dedication. Yeah, it's like that's a weird sort of like relationship that... Like, you're not going to get anything from it. Like, you're not... If you go to a concert, you're like, I enjoyed that music. If you go to a, watch Deion Sanders coach, you're like, hmm. I watched someone yell at other men. Yeah. Bro, the way that's he put stupid. his clipboard over his mouth when he yeah. told the fucking play was Yeah, crazy. that's stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> I, just, I would go see Kanye to fill money because it would be an experience. And I'd Yeah, be, you, you wouldn't go for the music. That's I would, for oh, no, sure. I'd definitely would... be like, what? What is this going to be like? Yeah. You know, like, intrigued. <laughs> And also, fo- <laughs> and also, sports fans, like they know the result, like they know what's gonna happen. There's gonna be an outcome. Someone's gonna win or lose. With music, you don't. You could like go to a concert, and anything can happen. Like some surprise guest can show up. You know, like you've never been at watching the Broncos, and then LeBron runs on the field, and you're like, oh, true. there's a guest star from LeBron. And kicks a but, field goal. Yeah. <laughs> but at a concert, at a concert, you can be like, oh shit. Someone came out onto the stage and also performed. Also, no. can we not just talk about whatever music you like? Can we talk about all music? Because your music sounds like it fucking sucks. I don't like Kanye. What do you mean? I don't listen to Kanye. I'm not talking about just Kanye. Oh, I don't even think I brought up hardcore once. What is hardcore? Is that metal? Well, let me tell you guys. Stop <laughs> yeah. looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh. it's, 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 a, it's a uh it's it's like a uh not a derivative. It's like a like part of punk. He means it's, division. He doesn't yeah. know, he's not good at math. No, but hold on, let me forget before I forget my last point. You can see a random thing happen at a baseball game. Exhibit seven. Obama. <laughs> Obama? Obama throwing the first pitch at a baseball game. Yeah, but you know that's going to happen. You don't know that's going to happen. They most don't put of, it on the flyer. No, most of the time you do know that there's going to be a celebrity throw a, throwing no the way. first pitch. Yes, absolutely. There's no way. They don't. Bill, Burr, they, Bill Burr announced it like a month before he went out to the game and actually did it. <laughs> Didn't they just have Megan the Stallion? Do yes, one? and Coil not Coil Rate. What was the other rap? Megan the Stallion and someone else threw out the first pitch. Like they know it's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna like surprise you. Bro, then there's the bat dog, man. The bat the dog. Bat dog. Yeah, it's so yeah, and I bet the other team would kill that dog to make a point. No, they wouldn't. Yes. No, Cal the bat dog is no not way. he doesn't. Oh, you know his team. name. I do. There's Cal and then there's Finn. What game or what uh teams are they? Uh, that's the thing. Do he's, you know? he's, he kind of goes wherever. Oh, like yeah, okay, okay. he did uh, something for the Carolina Hurricanes one time too. Oh, that's cute. It's really, it's really cute. Yeah, there's but a... the opposing team would kill that dog to make. No, a point. Yes. dude, there's a video. I'll, no, I'll no, there, you... there's. Why there's... would they kill the dog? Because that's how much they don't like the other team. That's how annoying and fucked up they are. You mean the fans? The fans would like if that. The dog fans was would kill the dog. Absolutely. Look, I agree that <laughs> animal abuse is annoying, but. What I was going to say is there was a video of uh, the, the umpire took the bat before the dog could like grab it. Oh, and everyone booed. The whole stadium just booed. Just See, that's annoying as that. fuck. That's, no, He's doing beautiful. his job. That's beautiful. Fuck that dog. That dog no, is taking the dog away hardworking hours from Americans. 
Who's going to do his job? Any any other human being could do that job capably. Yeah, but he's such a good boy. And he's getting See? what he wants. <laughs> he, he, he gets so much fulfillment from getting the bat. No, he doesn't. He he's a dog. Yes, he does, He bro. used to kill bison on the front tier. No, those now... are wolves. Dogs are different now. <sighs> okay, so out of out of these two groups of people... Oh, you have a point? I have another point. Okay. <laughs> um, I went to I went to CSU in Fort Collins, Carl State University. I'm so sorry. And our mascot was a ram, the mm-hmm. CSU Rams. Yeah. And the day before we played CU, the ram died. <gasps> and I was a ram. Oh I, I was a, I was a ram handler, so I took hell care yeah of, you I t- were. I took care of Cam the ram. Yeah right? you were. And so his name was Ken. Cam. Cam. Cam, oh, Cam. And you can look this up. This is all verified truth. Uh, so the, the 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 ram died of old age. He was just an old. He was just an old ram. And so we had to take the baby ram, right? So we go, we're driving to CU Stadium for the game after oh our ram God. just died. We tried not to tell anybody, and then somehow it got leaked out and it spread around. And people at CU like brought in like fake ram heads. They brought in like fake, like dead, like a like a piece of wool. What year was like this? Two thousand I want to say like seventeen or sixteen. Here's proving my argument right now. Um, yeah, that sports, sports fans are beautiful. Sports I was fans, at CU during yeah. sports fans are the worst. Like Cam Durant died, and then we show up to the stadium, and people are chanting like Cam is dead. Like like people behind us at the stadium. That's I thought you said they brought stuffed animals and shit. Yeah, to show that there was a no. Dead they animal. went and killed actual rams and brought the heads into the stadium. I see what you're saying now. I thought you said in solidarity they all brought these. No, rams they weren't like, doing. We oh no, no, no! no. Yeah, they yeah. were like, "This is the body. Of oh, the <laughs> fucker we killed the body." And of then there Christ. were rumors going around, like CU students going around, like, "Yeah, we went and killed Cam before the game." Yeah, that's how fucked up I sports love fans that. are. I so, love that. That's kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> so sports fans are America the fucking America is worst. beautiful. Yes. Okay, so let me ask you this next question. Yeah. Who would be a worse neighbor? Someone that goes to a lot of concerts or someone that goes to concert a lot of sports fans? Sports fans. Easily. Fans. Concert fans, no. easily. No. Fucking okay. 4 a.m. No. and they're blasting their fucking music. They wouldn't even be there because they would be at the concerts. <laughs> yeah. No. See, they would. They no. Would, they, they would no, be no, no, at the no. concert. No. Because concert. Fans, and also Because concert fans have no job, <laughs> and so they're gonna be home. <laughs> like <laughs> just making your neighborhood loud as no. Fuck. A sports fan Sunday morning, they're yelling at the top of their lungs. They're yeah, but, but I'm at church, so I'm their, not even hearing <laughs> that anyway. Shut up. They're having their badass kids play in the yard, pretending that they're going to be their badass. Their kids. next Deion Sanders. That's a good not. point. That's a, let's dig into that a little bit. They're Why does every sports fan have a terrible child? Why yeah, because they trend? want because they're like, oh, all you have to do is be good at sports to be a good person. Yeah. Gross. Yeah, and sports is so much Bobby about life. Running around <laughs> with his fucking mullet. Exactly. <laughs> Gross. Badass kid in my yard. Bro, watch the Jordan documentary. At 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 four a.m., you're watching F. One fan scream at the top of their lung, their lungs because the race is in Australia or whatever. Baseball fan, baseball fans are pretty chill. I think I would. They're, they're I feel like F one fans are chill. They're just like listen to NPR all day. They, they don't. Soccer fans, their games are all the top fucking time, and they're kicking the ball inside of the house trying to pretend to be messy. And it's like you'll never be messy. I think sports fans will never be as good as they think they mm. are. Whatever sport they like, and that's as a concert, you can imagine. Be like, I could learn to play the piano. <laughs> Yeah, you can't just go to the NFL. Yeah. So I'm right. No, I think concert fans definitely worst neighbor at night because uh, they always play their music very loud. Um, I can also you can tell how someone is like I don't want to know how my neighbors feel. Like right now, I can tell like my neighbor is going through something because I can hear her music. Like, what is she playing? Just like real sad, just real sad Drake. shit. Like there's Marvin's a, room. No, it's, it's one of them's like a metal song that I like. Where I'm like, oh, I like this song, but also I was just like. Damn, she's really going through it. The song's called Just Pretend. And the whole, it's just a song about depression. And the music video is literally just like a person like slumped over, like and it's it's, hilarious. You've yeah. watched the music video? Yeah, of course, because I don't go to concerts. I have He's to watch that shit like in at the home. Music video. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Who do you think would be a better party host? A concert Ooh, goer sports, or a sport sports fan? sports fans for sure. Because they got the snacks oh, and you're the food. Switching. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on, no. Because we're saying concert fans are more annoying. So sports fans have better food, and they'd be a better person. To Do you think with. a concert goer would host a better party? Fuck no, I think they would. They would play one type of music. That's the one thing I won't agree on. Yeah. As a concert a concert goer, would just be like, "Hey, I like this one artist. We're Fish. just gonna listen to this one artist <laughs> <laughs> for six hours." And yeah, I'd rather just, be yelled at by the dad. Wait, does who Fish never... even have like? I was about to ask. Music? Yeah. 
Like, do you go to the Fish concert? They're like, oh, fuck yeah. They're playing that one arrangement that they play sometimes. Is With it the jazz? four violins. Is it I like jazz? It. It's not like jazz. It's I like love fucking. Going to jazz I feel like I'm getting, I'm getting like a Lumineers vibe. But worse, because Lumineers have songs. Mumford and Sons? Like, kind of, because Mumford and Sons, again, like you can put their song in like a car commercial or something, you know? But like, Fish songs are just like. It's like it's just something to do. I don't know what that means. Like it's not something. It's like I it's, feel it's like nothing. You would go to a jam band concert if you like weren't hugged as a child and you just needed to feel something. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like it's like if you like if you wanted to be a theater kid but you were too scared to do it because you thought everyone's gonna think you were gay. So now you go to fish <laughs> concerts. You know what I mean? I think fish concerts are like for white people that don't want to join the clan. because I think it's like they what the fuck because they only have two Bro, options. Bro, every Boston fan is in the clan. But what I mean is like, because <laughs> white people like, because white people We're having hot takes on this podcast. <laughs> oh, for today. sure, yeah. Because white people and also having I love a, Boston. I'll be there in June. <laughs> I'll be there in May. Uh, but, but having like, like, because white people having a community, it's either you, you have the clan or you got fish and hippie shit. Those you heard like it here first, two. white people. You have two options, <laughs> yeah, two options. Yeah, when it comes to options. socializing. It's yeah, either yeah, the clan, yeah, or the, the clan, fish. or you're in hippie shit. Because anything else is just, I don't know. There's no in between. Uh, I don't. I don't think that's true. What, um, what do you? What would you recommend? If you're for our white listeners out there, for them, if you're like, if they need a community, <laughs> and, and you don't think clan or fish, where do you put them? Um, I mean, there's like jazz. There's other types of. Were you about music. to say jazz or size? Ja- just jazz. <laughs> jazz. <laughs> no, that's just not jazz. Right. I would even fuck with some techno. I love cunt, cunt, I guess. What about Zumba? I could do Zumba. Mm-hmm. I like watching people do Zumba. We're um, talking about a community, not a. There's you think there's a Zumba community in, yeah, in Denver? There sure is. Yeah, there absolutely is. Like Zumba, Zumba meetups. Yes, like, bro. <laughs> Look, just we're just so co- yeah, just, just, just join the clan, dude. Just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my last question, and I think I think this is a really good question because this okay. is like it has to do very much with being either of these things. Who has better fashion, concert goers Ooh. or sports fans? Man, that really depends on the concert. Here's how annoying sports fans are. There is no fashion because you're just wearing your team's mm-hmm. gear. And like Disagree. if you see if you see a guy wearing like a this is my uncle by the way. He's wearing a Broncos hat, mm. a Broncos jersey, a Broncos jacket, orange pants, mm. and orange shoes. We talked like, about bro, this on our podcast. Fly. You look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> you know? And he's like, What's up, nephew? And I'm like, What's up, Unc? And you, there's no way to be like, Hey, you look dumb as hell. Does he look like that outside of the games? Yeah, like he's not going to the games. <laughs> he is just at the house. <laughs> like he's just at He's just at the house. At the house. I feel like, you know, with basketball, jerseys are kind of like basketball jerseys are kind of cool, but also Are like, they? If you match a basketball jersey with any like if you just wear a jersey, you're like cool, whatever. But if you're like matching your basketball jersey with, with other basketball shoes shorts and socks and like a headband oh, and man. you are at the gym, like you look like a fucking ass. like it's just the so I Sports fans look stupider. Yeah. Okay. I okay. think sports fans would look stupid. See, look I disagree. Stupider. I feel like you get like a hockey jersey with like a hoodie underneath it. It's classic. Hockey yeah, you look like Alec cool, Flynn, though. and that's yeah. not cool. Bro, Alec <laughs> Flynn is very well dressed, very handsome. We'll man. have him on the pod soon. Yeah, he's great. But yeah, but that's what I mean. I think he's like, cool without the jersey. As soon as you put the jersey on him, he becomes ten percent oh. more. Annoying. No, bro, the jerseys are cool. I think a basketball jersey over a hoodie is kind of tight. Football jerseys. You are just keep adding hoodies. So oh, yeah, the hoodie yeah. is the part. The hoodie yeah, is the part yeah. that's cool. <laughs> Bro, a baseball and, jersey uh, with Ooh. a hoodie. A baseball jersey is such a slutty. Little, Base, baseball. Like, yeah. Okay, baseball jerseys <laughs> are very cool. I, I wear yeah. baseball jerseys and I don't even play baseball. Baseball, I, baseball jerseys are cool, but you have to be able to throw a baseball. I can throw Do a baseball. You? Yeah. yeah. What about what about a baseball jersey that's like it's not an actual jersey but it's like something you buy at PacSun? Oh, like it's like a but Naruto it's like that fucking style. like jersey. Yeah, but it's yeah, that yeah, style yeah, yeah. where it buttons up. Yeah. I like it. I think it, I like, think that would be cool. Yeah. As long as it's not an actual team that I have one of those but it's from cool. Obey. It just Oh yeah, those are it. sick. Yeah. I know young, the exact jersey you're talking about. For me. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think and then concert goers like especially like those rave outfits are whack, dude. Like, what a rave outfits. They were like oh the, those, fu- those are awesome. the fuzzy those rave, boots. Those, no, those you just like fuzz, seeing like, the girls in that... the lingerie. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, for me, it's the, the fuzzy boots and stuff like that that bother me. With the sparkles and the tassels. Just like just the the, the fuzziness. Yeah, of it, and just sometimes like... they, they do. They put on all that plastic. They yeah. Call it all candy. the candy. Yeah. Plur, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> god. They do this a lot. And they put a butt pl- butt plug in that has a fox tail on it. It's ridiculous. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. And then just like yeah, then you know the fish the fish people wear those drug rugs 
What are jog rats? It's like the the hemp hoodie. Oh, like the poncho. Yeah, the yeah. Poncho it's like stuff. if you were Those to cool. take an area rug and are they wear cool? it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wh- you wear one. Yeah. I, hey, I'm, uh, look, I'm all about design doing fashion with comfortability. You know, they're not comfortable though. They're stale. They're kind of they're kind of yeah. itchy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like no. putting on a cardboard box. But like Afghan colors. What do you not mean by what are that? Afghan yeah. colors? Not the, like, not the like, country. Like brown? Like, yeah. Not the mean? country. You Yellow? Know, like, red? No, you know <laughs> Afghan blankets that are like, no. they're like nope. knitted in like two different colors. They'll be like red, white, or blue, green. It's like nah. a, So all of the, any color? Any color. So all colors. All colors. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a drug rug is. We've, I don't know what a drug rug for is. For sure. Someone that you know wears one. For sure. Not, apparently not. because I don't sounds know, like you I wear don't one. Descri- I don't describe, I don't know any of these people that you're describing that wear or look like this. I don't hang out with fishy people. Okay, I do love fishy people. They're they're good people. Like I I want I want everyone to know. I think they're good people. They are annoying, but they're good people. I okay, sports fans. We're coming to the end of this. Cool. This has been a riveting argument, but I need to know your guys' like closing argument. So if you could give me a quick <laughs> sentence or two about why you think either concert goers or sports fans are more annoying and why you should win this argument, that's what we're gonna do right now. Cool. Yeah, concert goers, fish. That's it. Okay. Do I need anything else? I don't. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. That's no, it. Just everything that has to do with the band Fish. But that also that that's too like. There's other music besides that. Like, have you ever gone to like a hip hop concert? Yeah. What about jazz? like Taylor Swift what bands? About other concert or like Taylor Harry Swift Styles bands? Yeah. Or... I think like you know, they need a Joe Rogan too. You know. What the fuck are you? He loves about? white women way too much to it's ever insane. talk shit about Taylor. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. He could never talk shit about. Taylor. I'm not gonna talk shit about their Oprah. <laughs> that's insane no I just think you know it's just that's the say one bad thing about a white woman <laughs> oh like <laughs> stop writing pamphlets about us who's us about who like people of color just ask us how we feel stop like, writing literature about how to talk to your people of color friends that's not that's not one white thing is anyone doing woman. that People do that all the time. They'll post never, articles or like I've how to talk that. to your people of color friends about where are you, blah, blah, blah. Where are you reading these, Cosmo? No, yeah, just, white people magazines. Yeah. <laughs> Zoo yeah, books. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's another white people magazine. Highlights. I've never heard of that magazine. That he's in deep. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, what do you, I don't know where you, I don't even. Deep. Just pick another genre that isn't. That's more encompassing for every. So you're people. so you're gonna say that sports that concert goers are more annoying simply because the band Fish exists. No, I just mean everything encompassing with that traveling to find them and like the music itself and like all like that. Okay, yeah. Eland. What about people who go to like summer so like jazz concerts on in the summer? You don't have anything to say about those people? No. Why? Those people are fucking annoying. What's annoying about them? They just they pretend to know what they're listening to, and they pre- they, they never dance on beat. You know, there. that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. They go to these places and they like <laughs> pretend to know the music, and it's like you don't fucking know what's happening because I don't know what's happening, but I'm gonna pretend to enjoy it. You know, when we pleasantly. went roller skating the other day, yeah, and like people had their own headphones on while the music was that happening. Was yeah, I was I was looking at everybody. I was like, oh wow, white people dance like they're listening to their own music while other music is playing. Yeah, <laughs> that's really you funny. Because I said that earlier. <laughs> Not just death metal, or whatever you listen to. <laughs> Why are sports fans more annoying? Um, because they they think it's gonna change the outcome of their life. They think mm. they're they're trying to make up for a life not well lived it through does. another team. It doesn't. If the Avalanche win the championship this year, it's not gonna help anyone's. It's not gonna give you a raise. No, it's not gonna help. Uh, help it's not gonna get you pregnant. It's, it's gonna, gonna boost help your the kid economy. Love you more. Yeah, like it's not mm. gonna do anything. But it would give me an excuse to talk to my dad. Yeah, but for how long? <laughs> five until minutes. The next, <laughs> yeah. Until the five next minutes. Just until say, the next hey, season. Dad, this happened. Until like, next yeah. season. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. And then if they start losing, you well, maybe he'll think he'll, maybe he'll again. think I'm cooler if I wear a, a hoodie under my <laughs> fucking hockey jersey. <laughs> I don't right. know. I don't know. Maybe that'll happen. He'd just be like, "Why is she wearing a hoodie during the summer? Like, what? It's hot outside, and I we're going to an cool. game. That's, <laughs> that's cool. a conversation piece. So that's why sports fans are just more annoying because they seem like they care more about it. And they go out of their way to make other people's lives miserable if they don't do well. Like it's more of like a personal thing. With concert, I'm like, go to a concert, enjoy it. Music. Mm. I'll go to a country concert. I don't even like country music, but I'm like, people vibing out, people having a good time. There's, you know, whatever, people drinking. You go yeah. to a game. I can't go to a game and just be like, oh man, I gotta wash my back because someone um, missed the free throw. You taking know? you to a hockey game. I don't want to go to a hockey game. 
I've I, seen what I happens. Didn't ask, I said I'm taking game. you. Ho- there's hockey fights, and then yeah. they that goes from the ice to the stands. I don't want to be a part of that. There's concert fights. <laughs> Name a concert fight. All the time. What's one concert fight? All the time. Say? Astro Pick- World. Oh, okay, that, that wasn't, wasn't a con- fight. That, that was just a bunch of people fight. storming the stage. <laughs> that was a fight against humanity. <laughs> no, that was that was just a stamp. There's a difference between fighting a stampede. Name one concert fight, like a fight at a concert. There's probably fights all the time. They don't televise it because they happen so often. You need to go to more concerts. I'll take you to a concert. I'll take you to a sports game. Let's all go. right. You heard it here first. <laughs> Elon and BK are going to go on a date later. I don't want to witness that. My name is Morgan Gallo. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to choose a winner right now because uh, this is usually what we do at the end of the podcast. I wish I had a trophy. Maybe I should invest in a trophy for you guys. Great arguments. You brought up fish. You brought up <laughs> everything else. Your uncle. <laughs> if he's free later, like, give me his number. Um, you know what? I think. The most annoying people are definitely sports fans. Yeah. Fuck those people. Yes. Thank you guys for tuning in. Listen in every Monday. We're streaming on Spotify, everywhere you can find us. Thank you, Elon. Thank you, BK, for coming. We're out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>